All right, in this short video, I'm going to try to demonstrate how to use the Maverick Foxtrot version, the infrared version for the Navy, with the F-18C, and how to be proficient with uh, the charging pod, uh, also using mark points and using our velocity vector on the headset display uh, to uh, slave targets to the charging pod and then use the Mavericks. All right, first things first, we'll need to check our bindings and make sure we're on the same page. All right, so one of the first things that, uh, that we need to bind is the uh, throttle designated control depress and the undesignated no wheel steering switches, which uh, basically help to designate and undesignate targets on the uh, targeting pod. Then we also need the cage and cage button, which we'll need to uh, basically cage and uncage the Mavericks. And then we'll also need the sensor control switch uh, and we'll have to bind all, all of these and yeah uh, you don't want to forget to bind your radar elevation uh, control up and down all right so let's make sure we are on master arm enter to ground mode enable mavericks Mavericks are on, enable the flare, make sure that the flare is enabled obviously. Then we want to just make sure that we are pointing our target pod in the right direction. We do have a waypoint this mission, so I'll use that. Uh, the waypoint is over there, all weapons designated, which will make the targeting pod look at it. But as the um, waypoint is on an elevation that is uh, pretty much useless, I'll just have to change that real quick. I'll press UFC on the data page for this waypoint and select elevation in meters, 43, because I already know that. And then go back to the HSI and go weapons designate once more. Okay, if I use sensor control switch to the right, I'll make this uh, MFD soy. So basically, I'll be able to zoom in, slow around and everything. Let's do that. Uh, let's zoom in with the uh, real elevation uh, key binding. All right, I've got a couple of uh, BTRs there. And uh, let's just uh, go to the narrow view. Uh, let's press the depress button. And once I've got that done, I'm going to just mark this guy here and move and slew around to the other BTR. And uh, I'll also mark him as a, another. Uh, entry on my HSI. So this is actually kind of useful uh, when you've got multiple targets. I'll just do two for demonstration purposes. And well, what you want to do now is you want to select the uh, mark point number one and do a weapons designate. Uh, and if you do uh, uh, mark point two weapons designate, you'll see that you can select the other guy immediately. You don't have to actually slew around. Once we've got this target mark, we will do sensor select switch left and you see that the Mavericks have slew to the new uh, target because the Mavericks are uncaged. We'll use the FOV key here to get a better eye on the target. And actually the Mavericks are not perfectly aligned with the target. So what we're gonna do is fix that a little bit. Switch back to the Mavericks and you'll see that we are ready here because the cross uh, filled into to the heat signature and we are in range so rifle one let's go back to our hsi and go to the previous mark point go over there and now we've got a good solution in range rifle in parameters Okay, next I wanted to demonstrate how to use your heads up display to designate targets for your timing pod and then engage those with Mavericks. To do this, we'll be using the VBSLV mode, which stands for Velocity Vector Slave. And to access this mode, there's two ways. First, you can use the VBSLV uh, button over here on your MFD, or you can go SOY on your timing pod and then press the nose wheel steering undesignate button twice like so 
and this way you can basically point your um, velocity vector onto the general location of the targets press the throttle designate button there you go and then start slewing around to locate the targets once you have a target uh, on your turning pod and it is designated you can uh, sensor control switch to the left to your Mavericks and rifle Shack.